In this video, I want to talk about following the leader. Now, we've done that in the past. We've talked about following the leader, and Mark has to have a tendency to be in families, and one family member will lead the other, and then you can usually trade the, the, the follower. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to point out here, this is wheat, soybeans, and corn. Let's first look at wheat, as you see on here on the chart. This is the daily May wheat contract, and you can see this nice little ABC in here. I'm going to come in with this ruler in here and very simply just draw this nice little projection in here up to the top of this market and it's made this nice little retracement so you can see we've got a little ABC pattern in here and the market's come back and it's fallen back quite significantly from the highs all the way back down it's about a $2100 move not including commissions and fees from the high to the low now as we come in here I want to show you soybeans soybeans has done basically the same thing we come in here with our one two three tool just draw our little 123 ABC projection tool. It came right up here to uh, 161.8. And you can see that this mark has now made a nice, beautiful little retracement off of this uh, peak here. Again, if we draw our dollar calculator in there from the top to the bottom or where it's currently trading, that's about a $2,100 move on the daily chart, not including commissions and fees. Now, what I want to show you next is coming in here to corn. Now, corn, look what corn's done. Corn has not quite made the drop yet that the other two markets have. That's wheat, that's soybeans, and that's corn. So corn in here, we're still anticipating that nice little drop or the blow off and additional downside potential on this market. Now this market's not as big dollar wise, but if we come back to basically the same type of pattern that we saw on the other two markets, soybeans and wheat, we could see basically a thousand dollar move in there off of that high peak back into this uh, lower region of course not including commissions and fees but this is just a quick idea of what we can do when we're looking to trade the leader so we have leaders this is wheat's leading the market it seems and soybeans following and corn has not yet made the turn yet so this is an opportunity for us to take a short position on corn now if you don't want to come in and you don't want to exactly you know uh, hit this with a contract you could come down to a smaller time frame and we could do that of course Maybe we'll take a look at a range bar six, but you can see in here, just off this nice little move, the market started to, to return and give us this nice little one, two, three, or a little ABC uh, head and shoulders formation up in here. So we got an opportunity to take a short position. We got lower lows and lower highs coming in off of corn. So what's a good way to take an advantage of this market? Of course, we could come in and just trade this with a contract down here on the smaller term time frame and look for the retracement. Or uh, alternatively, very easily, we could just come in here and we could... Uh, price out an option. We could just come in and we could buy ourselves a uh, put. Let's buy a put. So we're going to buy a put in here. And a put you can see uh, right at the money put is about $268. We could go ahead and we could buy us one of those. And if we're confident enough uh, in the market, we'd come in here and we could sell a a call above the market to help us pay for the one we bought. And that's about $143, uh, $200 right in there uh, that we could pick up and we could sell a call to help us pay for the one that we bought looking for a pullback against the previous trend based on the fact that the other two markets in this in this uh, category, soybeans and wheat, have already made a pretty good retracement. 